It's that time of the month again, and by that I mean the time where I realize an entire month has passed me by in the blink of an eye, and I take to the deep dark release lists of Steam that feature a fair too many games out of my comfort zone to mention, but I withstand the trauma to seek out only the best and brightest of the upcoming bunch. I'm pleased to say that I've resurfaced, and with me I've brought 30 games that all deserve a bit of your time. Whether it's your beautifully brutal RPGs or coziest of casual life sims, we've collected an assortment of something for everyone. I've even taken the liberty of sorting this video by genre so that you can skip anything and everything you might not be interested in. We've of course included the release dates, consoles the games will be available on, and their links in the description, all for your easy access. If you'd like to view more details on them, then feel free to check out our linked article in the description, as it offers a deeper breakdown for each title. For now, let's jump straight in, so grab your favorite cup of tea, or coffee, we don't judge, and buckle up, because we're starting you off with nothing but action and adventure. The very idea of fighting souls-like bosses armed with only a plushie seems too hilarious not to feature. Offering that Kingdom Heart vibe while maintaining some challenge to the gameplay, if you're someone who loves beating up bad guys gently, then this is one to consider. Don't let its cuddly appearances deceive you though, it's not going to be a walk in the pillow fort to beat this one. If you've been around the channel, then you know my partner Derek adores roguelites, and Gatekeeper has been on his radar since early of last year, boasting multiple worlds and maps, hundreds of collectibles that will impact and change your gameplay, and the ability to do it all with your friends is exciting for the world of roguelites. The visual and audio experience is set to be above average for the genre as well, so add that to the list of perks. Dreaded dragon rose above the land, and our heroes stood there, positively petrified, trembling in their boots. If you're looking for a family-friendly co-op adventure this month, then Baladins might be just what you're looking for. Offering a make-your-own story approach armed with the ability of choice, each time you play, you'll experience something new. With multiple different characters and dozens of different story combinations, you're bound to be entertained for a while. Ready to set sail? Absolutely, Howard. I can't wait to find the last disc. We can't help but appreciate the use of color in our next feature. The ability to use simple color palettes and create such an eerie atmosphere that only enhances its thrilling story can't be anything but complimented. While this one doesn't fall into the horror category, it's bound to keep you on the edge of your seat at points especially if you're afraid of what lies beneath the waves. I've dreamt of this. This place of fear and fury. Do you hear it? The heartbeat of the lost ones. Even though we struggled to get through titles as bloody as Senua's Saga, we can't deny the sheer beauty of the graphic and audio design, and the incredible writing throughout the stories. We harbor more than a few in our community that love the more intense RPGs that will offer that rush of fast-paced yet methodical combat, complemented only by exquisite sound and visuals, and that's why we had to feature it. 
If that's you, then you're in for a good month. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But I ain't no ugly duckling. If you've been around our fort for a bit, you know that my partner and husband Derek's online persona is a duck. So it seems only fair that we make Sir Ducky become the duck detective this month, doesn't it? Regardless, if you haven't heard of this charming upcoming title, then we're happy to be able to share it with you today. If a comedic adventure about solving clues as an adorable duck sounds like a good time, then definitely give it a look. Master Blade of the Monolith is inviting us to a vibrant world full of fantastic creatures, intense boss fights, and colorful constructs this month. With a flexible combat style that caters to many audiences, you'll be able to define how you want to play as you chase down the disappearance of the mysterious ancients. If you're an RPG lover that wants to go on an adventure this May, then this is one to consider. Now that we've gotten through our most adventurous games of the month, at least the more excitable ones, let's move into the ones that make your minds work just a little bit harder to manage the more minute details of our gaming experience. You know, those that offer more freedom at the cost of more suffering from our poor choices. All in good fun though, as we're all human, but the following features are sure to put your decision making to the test. It's time to check out our simulation, management, and strategy titles for the month. For those of you who like to break your PCs with endless automation systems, you'll be excited to know that Foundry is releasing this month. They claim it to be an infinitely scalable factory building, and while I can promise your PC will collapse at some point, the very idea that you can attempt to do so is going to be exciting for a fair few. Releasing on May 2nd, you won't have to wait long to get your hands on this one. I'm honestly not ashamed to admit that I love passive simulation games. Power Wash Simulator, Cooking Simulator, Planet Zoo, heck, even your more comedic and adult ones like Viscera Cleanup Simulator. There's just something so relaxing about the genre. Oceanarium World is offering you the chance to run your own little fish paradise this month, and I know plenty of people who might indulge, so it's earned its feature. We can't help but appreciate the growing trend of games to offer a choices matter approach. Even in your more simplistic factory and management sims, we're starting to see these more minor choices inserted into the games that have often major impact. Insult the very first customer that enters your shop and you'll be repaying a debt you never thought you'd incur. Praise what seems to be a peasant, only to be rewarded realizing they're a king. It's a fun mechanic and the blend of it with the management systems and phase factory is what earned it the feature. If you're looking for something casual and comedic to play this month, then give this a look. As simple and silly as this next title might seem, we couldn't help but feature it this month, as if you're looking for a casual coding experience that will help you understand a bit deeper into coding logic and functions, 
then it's worth checking out. Even if it sticks to a simplistic approach, I love anything that teaches real world or computer skills through the outlet of a game. My name is Imogen Sajet. My entire life has been study, analysis, planning. Today, the galaxy is burning. I will be bound into the Carcassonne, merged with the ship in both body and mind. Taking Game of the Year way back in 2003, the sequel to the beloved Homeworld 2 is finally upon us. If you're looking for a breathtaking visual sci-fi experience, mixed with real-time strategy tactics and combat, then I can only hope this one is on your radar. While 21 years is a long time to wait for a sequel, if it's as good as the second, we might be looking at a potential contender for 2024, at least in the strategy department. We don't know our world. Yet here, we build, we craft, we survive, exploring, analyzing, learning. We tried the demo of Synergy during the last Steam Next Fest and were impressed by the uniqueness they've managed to bring to the colony sim genre. Blending RPG elements in with a gorgeous art style, it offered a challenge you don't usually find in these ones. The ability to adjust the settings to our personal playstyle preference only made it all the better, and is why it earned another feature on our channel. The crusade is about to overwhelm us. The crusade is on the rise. I have to warn everybody. We must keep them from reaching the Enclave at all costs. While I ultimately struggled to get into the RTS and more strategic genres, it's hard to ignore Songs of Silence this month. Offering above average visuals for the genre and a level of storytelling that is usually only available at a higher price point, if you're someone who enjoys the strategic planning of troops and their battle plan, with some fantastic storytelling, then this one needs your fair look. Once again, these curious little beings called humans ask for your help. After all, this isn't the first planet in which you guide their fickle spirits. To help them, use your elemental giants to create lush biomes. The colony and management sim genres are only growing on me, and games like Reyes 2 are the reason why. The idea of controlling my titans to cultivate different biomes and planets, all so that I can see how our little colony evolves based on their environments, sounds like an engagingly good time. Falling into the category of god game will be the ones in charge of their overall success, so you'll have to decide if you're going to choose Mercy or Mayhem. While I'm absolutely not the most technically skilled when it comes to platformers and controllers, as my ability rests with a keyboard and RPGs, I can't help but adore the Metroid and platformer genres as they offer such unique experiences in each one you play. It could be a colorful and imaginative adventure through the clouds or a brutal and bloody monster battle in the pits of hell. The versatility of the genre is impressive and it's why we've sought to bring you some of our favorite picks from the genre coming in May. One title that's making a more psychedelic splash into the gaming world this month is Cosmic A Journey Among Shadows. You'll, as the title teases, have to team up with your shadow to take on a not quite so friendly world. With vibrant visuals and a hack and slash combat system, you can expect to be jumping and dashing to new heights with even bigger bads to take down.
May is the month of beautiful 2D platformers for sure, and we couldn't help but feature Nairobi as well. With a fully hand-drawn art style that offers a gorgeous atmosphere and an engaging story, this one should offer you that thrilling and challenging experience we've come to love from the genre. Also, there are few titles that offer an entirely hand-drawn story and experience, so we can't help but appreciate Nairobi for the immense effort that takes. Definitely give this one a look if you're the type to appreciate the art of gaming. This one seems deceptive from trailers alone, but it's almost impossible to miss the depth that's hiding under its surface. What starts as happy memories and moments with friends takes a turn for the Titanic, and you'll be climbing your way off the ship while also attempting to save your friends. Even though this one might not jump out at you the way something like Little Nightmares will, we can't help but notice the similar gameplay style and appreciate the less creepy approach. Even if this provides a few nerve-wracking moments, it should still fit the more casual crew nicely. To any retro fans, your month is about to be blessed with the beautifully handcrafted world of Gestalt, Steam, and Cinder. Taking inspiration from 16 and 32-bit classics, you'll be set in a steampunk world where you'll have to hack, slash, and shoot your way through. It's hard to ignore how thorough they've been about the artwork, and the story doesn't seem to have been forgotten about either. Definitely give it a good look if you're looking for a Metroid to spark some nostalgia this month. As a Metroid and platformer lover, we can't overlook Nine Souls entering the gaming fray this May. Offering fast-paced hack and slash combat and plenty of platforming challenge, we're excited to see how it stands up against the others in the genre. From the beautifully crafted world and bosses to the Sekiro-inspired deflection-focused combat, it should be said to be a good one. Now, I feel the need to clarify our next category for some as a lot of our cozy crew tends to lack the enjoyment for some of our more casual games we feature, since they do lack some of the cozy functions they love. Cozy crew, fear not. All of the following titles we've deemed as decently cozy, but a few sport the more casual titles and may be meant for groups that love casual group experiences, not necessarily just cozy ones. Don't worry, there's no shortage of features for either category. So just know that May is a good month regardless of whether you lean more towards cozy or casual. This is Mount Ohm, the largest mountain in the world. No one has ever conquered the dangerous face of this mountain and reached its peak. Though that certainly doesn't stop climbers from trying. You need to give it your all to have any chance of reaching the top. You can even bring a friend. There's been a huge uprising in climbing games recently, and it's quickly becoming a beloved genre. From streamers playing them in their downtime before PvP games, or friends competing comedically against each other to see who can reach the top first. It's been a fun climb to see. Sir Mount is tossing its name into the climbing ring and going above and beyond to offer some fun NPC and town interactions for when you get bored of the climbing range. As an added bonus, it's co-op so bring your friends, but don't expect them to be much help. A sea of 
possibilities awaits in Endless Ocean Luminous. If you're looking for something new to pick up on your Switch this month and enjoy a purely peaceful ocean exploration experience in which you can learn about dozens of different marine creatures, then Endless Ocean Luminous might be for you. This is no sister to Subnautica, and there's not any ocean creatures that are going to jump out and scare you or threaten to eat you either. Though to casual lovers, rest easy. For those that want nothing more than to spend hours terraforming, beautifying, and maximizing the perfect farm, all with their friends, then check out Farm Together too. Even for solo adventures, the experience promises to offer you that sense of community with the local townsfolk nearby ready to buy your homegrown produce. In the evenings, decorate your home, paint, and even cook yourself a hot meal before going to bed. I have to be honest, it looks pretty fun. fan of all things cozy and casual, then you've probably known about Little Kitty Big City's release date for a while now, and we're excited that it's finally here. As a Game Pass subscriber, I'm ecstatic that we'll be getting another comedic animal game all about causing chaos as an adorable kitty. Nothing really beats mayhem and madness in a cute fluffy package, am I right? I can't tell you how many hilarious nights I used to spend streaming ridiculous party and co-op games with friends. Extraction is the ideal game for such an occasion, boasting hilarious interactions, a playful graphic style, and nothing but pure chicken heist chaos. You can even dress up your little chicken however you want so that you can peck out your friend's eyeballs with style. Jokes aside, I am curious to see how this one goes down in group game history. We're always on the lookout for beautiful indie projects with heart, and Little Known Galaxy has loads of it. Offering beautifully colored pixel graphics and a sci-fi life sim adventure, fans of the farming and simulation genres should definitely give it a moment of their time. From futuristic gardens to alien crewmates to meet and befriend, and even foreign planets to unravel the mysteries of, we're excited what the Little Known Galaxy has to offer. Once upon a time, in the forgotten seaside town of Southfold, there was a crumbling old cottage, home to two old fuddy-duddy parents, and their super smart daughter, who had just been accepted into university. The problem? Well, they didn't want her to go. You see, that girl is me. You can't deny how many unique game concepts have arisen over the last few years, and Paper Trail is set among them offering a paper storybook world that literally unfolds and folds around you. With a touching tale about leaving home and the trials and tribulations that come hand in hand with it, it'll likely offer those feels that some of us so often chase. I can't forget to mention the beautiful art and audio too.
you're looking for a wholesome adventure with nothing but cozy vibes this month, then we're happy to introduce you to Pine Hearts. With that storybook charm and more narrative-driven approach, only complemented by its eclectic mix of puzzles and NPC interactions, it's bound to offer that sense of childlike fun we so often seek from this genre. Lovers of all things anime and story-driven will need to take a peek at Until Then. Offering a mysterious story that will have your mind spinning for answers, it'll be up to you to figure out the truth before it's too late. This one does have a few seemingly heart-wrenching moments, so an added bonus for those that love to feel a little bit extra from the games they play. Welcome to Sunnyside. An aging post town nestled in the heart of the Japanese countryside. Hmm. The day is young, and there's so much for you to do in bringing harmony to your new community. What will today bring? It's no secret that this one has been at the top of my want to play list for a while now. From before the Kickstarter and all through the development process, we've been patiently waiting for the release date. With a more anime graphic style and the true freedom we all seek in a life sim, it's no surprise why there's so much excitement around this release. We can't wait to stroll through the countryside and enjoy the views from our sunny side garden. With that, we've reached the end of another monthly showcase. While we'd normally only feature around 20 titles, we couldn't help but fall in love with a few of the indie projects we came across that were seemingly buried beneath the bigger releases. So hopefully we were able to shed a light on a few of them and provide you with something unique to keep you company through the rising heats of May. Make sure that you go and wishlist any games you're interested in, as it aids in their development more than I can emphasize. You can find all the links to them in the description to make it even easier, so you have no excuses. Feel free to tell us what you'll be picking up and playing this month, as while you'll see a few of these beautiful titles come to the channel, we're never able to cover everything, and we love hearing about the ones we miss from our community and friends. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that pretty red subscribe button to constantly learn about new and upcoming games. There's the added bonus that at the end of May we'll be putting together a spring showcase featuring 30 incredible upcoming games and hosting multiple world premieres for some exciting titles. So if that interests you, stick around the channel. That's going to be it for now, but as always, we'd like to thank you for watching. The support and love for our content has been felt and appreciated. We'll do our best to keep being our kind and informative selves. Until next time.